The motion of projectiles through the air is usually described by a quadratic function. You don't need to know anything about physics to solve these questions. All of the information that you're going to need will be given in the question. Let's look at the following example. A toy rocket is launched vertically into the air from ground level. Its height, h, after t seconds, is approximated by the equation h equals negative 5t squared plus 40t. And then we have a few questions about this scenario. a. How long will it take for the rocket to reach its maximum height? b. What is the maximum height of the rocket? And c. How long will it take for the rocket to return to the ground? Now, we can answer all of these questions by looking at the graph of this quadratic. If we think about a rocket being launched into the air, it will go upwards at first until it runs out of momentum, and then gravity will make it fall back down over time, giving us the parabola shape that we all know and love. So, let's head over to Desmos and graph our function. The maximum height of the rocket is just going to be the maximum of our parabola, located at the vertex. Now, you know how to find the vertex, and it's right here, at the point 480. Now, the first question is asking us how long it takes the rocket to reach this height. How long means time, which is our x-axis, or our t-axis, since the variable is t for time. So after four seconds, the rocket will reach maximum height. To find out how high that maximum height actually is, that will be the y value, or in this case, the h value of that vertex. Remember that the y axis here is height in meters. So the maximum height of the rocket is 80 meters. To find out how long it takes for the rocket to reach the ground again, we first need to answer the question, well, how high is the ground? Well, in this case, it's going to be height zero. That's the x-axis. So we're looking for the x-intercepts of the graph. Or in this case, technically the t-intercepts. We have two of them here, t equals zero and t equals eight. That first result, t equals zero, is at the beginning, before the rocket has launched. So it will take eight seconds for the rocket to reach the ground again. Now, every word problem is a little bit different. If I did an example for each type you might possibly encounter, we'd be here all day. So here are some general tips to help get you on track. First, figure out what the question is asking in terms of what you know about quadratics. Is it the maximum? The x-intercepts? Maybe it's a value of y that matches with a certain x value, or vice versa. Next, graph the quadratic using technology. When you find your answer, consider your units. How long means the question is asking for time, in seconds, minutes, or hours. How far is probably answered in something like meters or kilometers. And when you get an answer, think about if it makes sense. And if it doesn't, double check.